hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to update a parent table when a new data is added in the child table so this is basically a two separate table this is the parent which is i have the list of available cars or the inventory i have for the cars and this is where is the child records we're in this is the records when the car was updated all right so let me show you one sample so currently uh, this in the parent table all of these cars are available when i added a new record in the child i will choose let's say rented then I will choose the parent um, the parent data which is this one this is a Nissan Patrol once I hit save in the parent table it's updated as rented as you can see <clears throat> and let's try to add with the same car so let's say uh, keep it in reserve then the car number is this so it should change this nissan patrol to reserve as you can see and once you delete this parent record so i have here all the uh, child records so once i delete this parent record it also delete the the child records let me just refresh see so the child records all deleted okay so i'll show you how to do this parent and child relationship so let's go to the app editor let me show you first my uh, table or my source you source okay so in my Google sheet I have two separate table so the first table that I have here is the parent table which is composed of cars and then their license plate and then the child records here i have this status car number card type and date and time it's an optional and let's go to the app editor and in the parent table what you're gonna do first is you have to identify what is the similar in the another table so in the parent table, I have the car number, which is similar in the child records car number as well. Okay, so let's go back to the parent table. So in the parent table, I have these columns. And then if it's not added automatically, you can add a virtual column and name it as a uh, column type is lease. And you can apply this expression with ref rows. So the first here is the table, the child records. And what is the similar, which is the car number. This is the reference. So it will generate a list of, of records similar to car. I mean, it will generate all list of records with the same car number. Once you add it for that. So we are all done here. Let's go back to the child table. So in the child table, you have to identify here the similar to the other table, which, which is to the parent table. So the similar is the car number, and you have to keep it as reference, reference type, and select the source table. And if you would like to 
to delete as well whenever you delete the parent records it deletes as well the child records here like what i show you a while ago you have to click this you have to check this once you're done for that you can create a view so any view you may like and then once you created the view you have to create a behavior here in behavior you have to create two actions the first action that we need to create is in parent table which is the list of available cars i have okay let's... so in parent table you have to create this expression called i mean this action called set the values column of this row you can name it as you like and for the record is the parent table and you can use this expression look up max row so let me explain to you this expression so this expression will look up in the child table the highest row number where in this car number is equals to car number in this row and also it will look up the child records the id the highest id and the highest status so whenever here you added the child record the latest one it's always the reference then once you're done for that don't worry i will paste this as well in the youtube description this expression for your reference once you're done for that so in this case we're going to update the status so it depending on your table setup you can choose this one this in this case it's a status then you can just appearance you can just do not display it then the second action that we need to create is the action in child records so in child records here you have to create this action execute an action a set of rows so the record the trigger is in the child table which is this one this table then and then the reference is the parent table which is i have all the list of cards here then you have to use this expression uh, reference row which is select the parent table car number car number since uh, car number in the parent table is the row key so this row that car number is equals to car number so i will paste this also in the youtube description and then once you're done for that reference action the one that you created in the the action update set of rows in parent table so this is the name of the action that i just created is update the status update status then once you're done for that appearance you have just to do not display when all behaviors and actions are created you go back to the ux here and look for the child form you know when you're adding here in child records look for the called child form view form view so to find that you can just maybe type child here and then it will display all the child form here so in child form, there is like, uh, if you scroll down, there is a behavior here. So here, form save, select that uh, update parent records, which is this is the, the action that we created in child records, this one. Once all set, you can create this and that's all. Okay. So when you're adding adding a cars let's say this is rented and this is chevrolet tahoe so it's currently rented it's rented and also if you edit the latest one as long as you edit the latest one it will also update there in the parent table as you can see 
if you added a new one same car it's a reserve then this number it will update also here so this is how you're gonna how to create a parent and child to update the parent records whenever there is a new data added in child records or when you updated the child records and it's updated automatically in the parent record once you delete the parent it will also delete the child records here as you can see it may delete in few seconds once this here sync done it will delete all right so if you learned something in this video please don't forget to subscribe or if you have any questions regarding this video you can leave a comment or any questions you may ask regarding upsheet you can leave a comment or you can send me an email thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video